Hi everyone, today is Monday, February 6, 2017. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here with the National Weather Service. And we've got a winter storm on the way. So let's take a look. So as of Monday at about 1 o'clock, this is the atmosphere uh, projected for at least the next six hours. And what we see are winds coming out of the west directly a little bit above Hawaii. Uh, you can see the coastal areas right here. And then you see a low pressure right in this range. This low pressure is expected to move farther east, which is then going to bring a cold front into Utah. This system is incredibly wet, but it's also warm, and that's a big deal with this system. So we're going to get westerly flow with anomalous amounts of precipitable water with this event. And as a result, we're going to have high densities with the snowpack. So let's get started with the northern Wasatch. And what would we expect our snow totals from about a foot to two feet of snow with snow water equivalent a little higher than what you typically see at 1.75 to 2.5 inches of water with this event. It's going to begin on Monday night and it's going to roll all the way through till Wednesday afternoon off and on. The greatest snow intensity will be Tuesday afternoon and an inch to an inch and a half. And the snow level at the onset for northern Wasatch is expected to be about 6,000 feet. It's going to be rain below that. And then as the system moves through on Tuesday, it's going to get a lot warmer as this warm advection moves in from the coast and kind of rides up over that cold air. The snow levels are going to rise to about 6,500 feet. The snow density trends are going to be about 8% when this starts, but 15% when that warm front moves in and rises up over that cold air, uh, really basically warming things up, 15%. Uh, also, it's a high wind event with this. Right around Tuesday afternoon, probably for the northern Wasatch, right, right around noon, we could expect gusts up to 70 miles an hour. But really, when I talked to the meteorologist, uh, Glenn Merrill, who helped me do this, this uh, forecast, he indicated that it's going to be a strong wind event through the whole entire thing from the southwest through, and then evolving into the west. And it's going to start Monday night into roughly early Wednesday, and then the winds are going to drop off. But I think the key is around 12, uh, Tuesday at noon, we're going to see gusts that could be 70 miles an hour, maybe a little higher during this event out of the west. When we look at the central Wasatch front side and what we're seeing in this area, we look at Alta, Snowbird, Solitude, and Brighton. Uh, what we see are snow totals expected to be a foot and a half to two feet with two to two and a half inches of water. It's going to start Monday night. It's going to go through Wednesday night off and on like we talked about with the greatest snow intensity on Tuesday afternoon with uh, about an inch to two inches per hour. Snow level at the onset, very similar to northern Wasatch at 6,000 feet and then end at about 6,500 feet. And the the snow density trends are going to be also very similar, up to 15% as we accumulate snow into Tuesday. When you look at the winds, we could have even higher winds, uh, Mount Baldy area out of the west at up to 80 miles an hour with this. But if you can see, we're going to be gusting above 50 miles an hour all the way through Monday night through Tuesday, roughly early afternoon, and then it's going to drop off after that. When we drop over east to the Wasatch backside, uh, what we see is a, a little bit more dense snow, and what we're going to see, um, the snow totals at 16 to 20 inches with snow water equivalent at 1.2 to 2.2 inches. It's going to start Monday night. It's going to go to Wednesday night. Uh, the greatest snow intensity is about uh, early Tuesday with the peak snowfall rates at 1.5 to 2.5 inches of water. But the key to this is it's going to start about 6,000, but for Park City, the snow level at the end, and this is the canyons and also Sundance, the snow level at the end of this is going to be about 7,500 feet with snow densities at that time around 15%. So very, probably a rain at the base areas for most of this event as it evolves. After that cold front moves out, we get that warm advection. Anticipate rain at the base areas, snow at the higher elevations. But when you look at the base areas, we could see as little as five inches of accumulation to maybe eight inches, but it's going to be incredibly wet snow as that transition area between rain and snow. Um, and then when you look at the winds, very similar. I think we're going to see 
Um, winds at about 2 p.m., maybe 3 p.m., gusting up to 70 miles an hour as we kind of shift that a little bit over. Um, but it's a wind event starting Monday night with gusting at 40 miles an hour out of the southwest and then veering to the west. But the snow densities are also going to be increased just by the amount of wind. With uh, We're going to see more slabs with this. And then sliding over to the winter range out by Windy Peak, Snow totals at 16 to 24 inches with snow water equivalent at 1.7 to 2.2 inches. Monday night's going to start Wednesday night. It's going to end and we're going to have the greatest snow intensities probably later on Tuesday afternoon at an inch to an inch and a half. It's probably going to start about 6,500 feet based on the model guidance we have and end it also about 6,500 feet. Uh, but the snow density trends are very similar, starting very low. And then as we warm, when that warm air comes across us on Tuesday late morning and into the afternoon hours on Tuesday, ramp up to 15%. Winds about 70 miles an hour. Tuesday, maybe t between 12 and 3 o'clock during that time. And then knocking off. But still, southwest veering to west, windy event, just like we see really throughout the Wasatch. And if you can envision... Uh, that that image we showed to, to start, it's just a westerly shot of anomalous moisture, uh, some of the wettest conditions we've seen with this. So there you have it, uh, Facebook, you can see us on Twitter. There's my email if you need anything else, but I really, really suggest you just take a look at the Utah Avalanche Center's website uh, just to see, because these conditions will evolve with this heavy, wet snow that's going to fall on a surface that we've had with high pressure, a lot of sun crusting. Um, it's going to change things uh, pretty quick. So take a look at the Utah Avalanche Center. And uh, I do appreciate taking the time. And until the next storm, we'll go from there. Thank you.